Hey, it's Alex here with DSMS TV News, and today's date is November 2nd, 2020. And according to the Union of Concerned Scientists, there are nearly 2,800 working satellites in space. We depend on these devices for technology we use every day, such as video calls, online maps, satellite TV, and weather checking. Good morning, DSMS. This is Mr. Hummert in the news studio. Please listen carefully to this announcement. This past weekend, I sent two uh, notices home to families about uh, COVID positive students on our campus. Last week, we learned that we had two COVID positive students that spent some time on our campus. And I wanna talk with our students so you know exactly how we work with those situations, both in terms of the, the COVID positive student, the quarantine, and then others who may have questions about their safety and health at school. So please listen carefully. As I said, over the weekend, we learned that there were two families who had gotten a COVID positive test and learned that they were likely positive during their time that they were at school uh, last week. That does not mean that there was any transition of the virus on our campus. We just don't know that yet. Um, when we have those students that are tested positive, they have to stay away from school for a period of time to take care of their health. The other important thing that we do is something called contact tracing. The Maricopa County has specific regulations that say that if you have contact with a COVID positive person for 15 minutes or more within six feet over a 24 hour period, uh, then you should be quarantined. And each time we have a positive case, there's somewhere between 20 and 40 or 50 uh, students that are on our quarantine list. So today at Desert Shadows Middle School, we have about 45 students, a little bit more than 45, who are on quarantine. And they are just fine and likely uh, they're not COVID positive and will remain that way. But as a safety precaution to prevent the spread, we ask them to stay away from school for a period of 14 days. I want all of our students to remember that there should be no stigma or negative feelings about anybody who is either tested positive for COVID or is on a quarantine list. Testing positive for COVID is not unlike uh, catching the flu or catching a cold or any other kind of regular virus. It just happens. As they say, it could happen to anyone. So those people who are positive tested deserve our prayers, our care, our thoughts, and we hope for a speedy recovery. Those on the quarantine list are on PV Connect for a while, and that's just fine. They're staying away to take care of their health until it's safe for them to return without the risk of the spread happening with that group. I hope that makes sense. Perhaps the most uh, frequent question that we get to my office is, if I, if I was close or, or spent a lot of time with somebody who was quarantined, does that mean that I need to be quarantined too? And the answer is no. The quarantine only applies to somebody who's in direct contact with someone that we know to be COVID positive. Those who are on the quarantine list just spent time in close proximity to someone who is positive. Doesn't mean they have it, just means that we're gonna take extra care. So if you were close to somebody who is quarantined, that does not mean that you yourself need to be quarantined. I hope that's clear. And if it's not, you can talk to your teachers about that or direct your questions to the nurse's office, Mrs. O'Boyle or I, we will be in the courtyard today. As always, it's important that all of us continue to be careful and safe in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. We feel like our campus is doing a very good job with the masks, keeping them on and fitting right, but we need to continue to do that hard work on distancing, keeping hands to ourselves, and keeping our hands sanitized. Thank you for listening to this important message. This is Mr. H. We'll see you in the courtyard. Hey, it's Mason with the birthdays. We only have one birthday, which was yesterday. Happy birthday to Abby McKinster. Hope you had a good day, not to Preston with the sports. Hey, the SMS, it's Preston with the sports. The Pittsburgh Steelers pulled off the road win against the Ravens yesterday. They are now the only undefeated team left in the NFL. Now to Cody with the lunch. 
Hey guys, it's Cody with the lunch. Today we have all beef hot dog, chicken taquitos, and a fruit and cheese pack. Hello, it's Jake with the weather. Today we have a high of 92 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. Winds are at 7 miles per hour today and only partly cloudy. Have a beautiful day. Hi, this is Addison. Today is National Color of the World Orange Day. Have a great Monday, DSMS.